Hey everyone, this is a quick video to give you a look at my new FL Studio plugin called Articulate. You may have seen it if you've watched any of my live streams or walkthroughs, but the basic idea of this plugin is to simplify the process of using different articulations in sample libraries on a single MIDI out track. So for this video, you can see that I've loaded a basic orchestral instrument from the contact library, and I've programmed in this simple melody that makes use of a few of the articulations that they provide. So let's play it back and hear how it sounds. This is just a standard MIDI out track, so if you look at the bottom of the piano roll, you can see the three key switches that I've used to trigger the different playing styles available in the instrument. For this library, we switch to Sustain by pressing C0, Staccato by pressing D sharp 0, and Sforzando by pressing D0. This has to be done every time you want to change the playing style by placing these notes at the bottom of the piano roll. In a full orchestral track, you could end up with hundreds of these key switches. Not only are they hard to maintain, but they also have various problems. For example, if you start playing in the middle of a track, you can see that the staccato key switch was never triggered, and so those three notes play as the current key switch, which happened to be sustain. Also, look what happens when we trigger a key switch at the same time as a playable note. You can hear that it incorrectly played a staccato but the second time it triggers the sustain correctly. These two notes are set to trigger at exactly the same point in time, but FL Studio is choosing to send the notes to the plugin in the wrong order. It's things like this that led me to develop Articulate. Articulate is a replacement for the MIDI out plugin that comes with FL Studio. It gives you access to a familiar range of controllers and you can send MIDI to any port or channel as you do with MIDI out. But it also has this area up the top completely dedicated to managing key switches. So let's see how much easier this process is using the Articulate plugin. The first thing we need to do is configure how the plugin accesses these key switches in the instrument. Articulate works by using the voice color feature in FL Studio. If you've ever clicked this drop down color menu in the piano roll, you'll have noticed that you can assign one of 16 colors to each note in the piano roll. The plugin uses this note color to determine which key switch you're wanting to play. So let's set up the sustain articulation. We switch to edit mode and we change key switch to C0, which is the key switch of sustain. Then we scroll through and find a sustain notation icon. And we right click to give it the name of sustain. We'll select this blue note slot here and do the same for staccato. So we give it the key switch of D sharp zero. Change the optional articulation icon to a staccato and we give it the name of staccato. Finally, let's do the same for Sforzando. If we know the key switch, we can right click and type it in manually. For example, 26 is D0. Let's give it a Sforzando icon and we'll name it correctly. So we've now configured these three different key switches. If we click the color drop down, we'll see that sustain, staccato and Sforzando are now available on the menu. So let's use them to recreate the piece from before. First, the sustain. Now let's put these three staccato in. And finally, the sforzando. So let's try playing that back. You can see that we didn't have to manually program in any key switching. It's using the voice colors and the configuration we've set up beforehand. Also, if you play back from the middle, you can see that it's intelligently triggering these key switches so that the correct articulation is always played back regardless. Alongside this new key switch handling feature, you'll also find the usual MIDI out functionality. For example, the controllers page gives you six commonly used CCs that can be right clicked to edit or assign to your controller. You'll find the other 120 odd CCs by using FL Studio's Browse Parameters feature. There's also an options panel to configure the plugin further. CC ghosting allows you to turn off the pan, volume and CC functionality on this track. This is useful if you're layering the Articulate plugin on top of an existing MIDI out track and don't want it to affect the pan, volume or CCs you've already programmed. There's also the option to preserve the port and channel when loading presets. For example, if we have this turned off and we configure our port and channel to something, and then we load a preset, 
the port and channel options are replaced by the values stored at the time. However, if we turn on preserve port and channel, customize those two values, and then load a preset, you can see that the port and channel we configured are preserved this time. This is useful if you want to load any Articulate presets into your template without messing with the ports and channels you've configured. So that's been a quick look at the Articulate plugin. It's available from my website, blake.so, or you can find the link in the description below. Keep in mind that this is beta software I'm releasing for free. You may find the odd bug here or there, but I'll try and fix those as they're reported. I hope you find this plugin useful, and thanks for watching.